Hello, I'm Bob Trink, and I've been asked to speak a little bit about my uh, C45. And I have a little bit of information, I'll just run through it for you. Uh, it's an old Air Force plane, and I have uh, I've, uh, the records back to 1953. The aircraft was built in 53, and it's uh, November 87690, serial number AF528. In the Air Force, they called it an expediter. Well, you don't hear that much anymore, but uh, that's what they called it. In 50, 1953, it went to the Air Force. It was in, in New Orleans. But uh, then, in, it's funny, that in the early 60s, all the records that I have, even though it was an Air Force plane, it was maintained by the Navy at the uh, Naval Air Station in Pensacola, Florida. So I don't know how that worked out, but that's in a lot of the past history. In uh, March of 63, they converted it for civilian use to, for a uh, standard uh, certificate of airworthiness for a civilian use. And the airplane went to the uh, USDA, that's the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture, and they, they put on a, a, uh, a fly dispenser in the belly of the airplane, and they actually dropped flies down in the New Mexico, Texaco, Texas uh, border area. And what they were doing is that these were live flies that they were dropping, and the flies were it was it was a program with the Department of Agriculture to, to kill off some of the uh, screw worms, they were called, and they were doing a lot of damage to the vegetation in the area. So it was on that program for quite a while. So after the, uh, actually the, the flies, they were called, uh, they were called aphis flies, and they were based out of El Paso, Texas when they were doing all that. In May of 88, the aircraft was bought by uh, four people from Massachusetts, and uh, it was headed up by Phil Cooper in uh, Massachusetts. And then in the July of 89, a guy named Bob Trink, that's me, <laughs> he came along and uh, I bought out, uh, not Phil Cooper, but uh, Reese Dill. Reese Dill was one of the members, and I bought out his quarter share. So I was one of the four members in the aircraft. And then in July of 89, I ended up buying out on my other three partners, so I, I had sole ownership of the aircraft. After I bought the airplane, I, I did do a few things to it. I, I uh, did a number of maintenance items, but I also put in some radios and made it an IFR aircraft. Up till that point, it wasn't an IFR certified aircraft, so and now it is. The, uh, well, the other item on it was the, the Army paint scheme. It's a, the paint scheme is what they looked like in 1941, before the war. And uh, my partners, before I came on with them in 1988, they had it painted the blue and yellow uh, Army Air Corps colors. And that was done by Dean Martin up in uh, Burlington, Vermont. We have a great club here in Plymouth where we fly out and do breakfast flights quite often. So that, that seems to be the thing. It used to be air shows that we did a lot, and it's, now it's evolved into a breakfast club. So primarily that's what we, we do with it now. I have a great following of people. We have a great time with it. It's a great airplane to fly, so we, we do enjoy flying with it.
It's safe to go. Okay, you slap this thing up? Yes, sir. Okay, that's the hardest part of the whole deal, you know, getting this thing going. <laughs> okay. Clear! There's nobody out here, is there? No, that's good.